What's going on, EGL? How you guys doing today? We have an excellent matchup. We have Breakout going against a toilet and a picture <laughs> in the winner bracket round two finals. I'm Taylor Noble, your host of Reflections II. Joining me is going to be Chewy, and we're going to get started, I guess, Chewy. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get started straight away. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I've got some noises popping up in my ear, but hopefully we're all good. Hopefully everything's going ahead. And we're going to jump on board straight in the game. We've had such short notice to come on and cast, but me and Taylor have had that so many times, so we don't really care at all. We're just excited to be casting. And it looks like we're going to be doing the same start of the map as we did yesterday, Taylor. We're going to be doing a hard point hijack. So, yeah, it seems like people are killing themselves already. So, Taylor, we always get this, you and me. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's not working, and uh, the game's just ended already. Then, yeah, uh, it has, and I keep getting this weird, funky sound that keeps saying trial, yeah, or I, I, I wonder what that is, Nick, if we can figure that out, because that's really, really distracting, and it's actually really creepy. I was just watching The Sixth Sense, which is actually a ghost movie, <laughs> and I don't know if you guys have heard about that, and I think it was actually uh, Master Zam, thank you for that creepy little things, but anyways... A team called A Toilet and a Picture. I'm hoping they perform a lot better than their name is. And we know Breakout is a really strong team. I've actually casted over them, and I think you have as well. And, yeah. oh my goodness, what is that trial thing? I don't know. We'll get it sorted. Nick saying he's not sure what it is. Hopefully we can mute it. Nick, if you can try and mute that, what the EGL, other person who's in the call or something like that, and we can get that sorted as soon as possible, that would be cool. I don't mind having it in my ear as long as the stream can't really hear it. But Taylor... We're going to get back on board again. Yep. I love casting at short notice and getting things going as soon as possible now. You know, we were saying about Breakout and how we've seen them before we've casted over them, yep. and they're a strong team. And I see a lot of people talking in the chat about how they know that Wongy, well, they, a lot of people feel that he's a warrior. Yeah, well, um, you know what? And, and, yeah. And, his, and his connection is good, but I got to tell you, Wongi is actually a really good player, believe it or not. He's very guys. smart. Yeah, he is smart. smart. He is smart. So is Breakout. The whole Breakout team is just a really good, good team overall. I've seen them play quite a bit. And I think the only people they lost to in a Payback Games tournament was, in fact, Prophecy, which is that's understandable. Or Prophecy, it was either Prophecy or um, who's the other team that's really popular? Because my mind's not working right now because I just Epsilon got on. Epsilon you're on about? I Epsilon, Epsilon, yeah. Epsilon, Epsilon yeah. yeah. So they only got beat by Epsilon, and that was it. But anyways, we're going to get on board with... Uh, let's get on board with LXT. He's currently on a five-kill streak. He's working his way up towards that lightning strike. Very interesting strategy here. He's got a lightning strike, war machine, and an AGR. That AGR could definitely come in big, but not so big on the underground hardpoint. Yeah, definitely. I'm not sure if that was a bit of a cocky move by him to call in that war machine and that AGR on his score streaks, but he's playing pretty well with it. As you said, Taylor, getting a five score streak straight away. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to pick up anything. We've got nine minutes left on the clock, and it's 22 to 16 breakout. Having the initial few seconds on it, it's back and forth, but you know, we were discussing this yesterday, Taylor, about how you don't really see too much time being gathered by each team right. on that first hard point, and that's really you know shown by how uh, level the scores are so far. So far. Yeah, yeah, but breakout did a great job with getting the spawns. Robs is going to be with the MP7. He's going to clean up Ridley kills, and he's going to clean up another person there getting a nice two-piece. Ainsy on a three-piece, and then we got LXT right now who was just helping out, and he's going back and forth. Now, we do see Breakout taking a lead right now by about 20 seconds, about 30 seconds until we rotate down to the underground, and it is, in fact, going to be a toilet and a picture who's going to take it over, and that's going to be Sam in there, but he's actually going to head out, and then Wongi's as well as LXT is going to come back in there, but Ainsy on a four kill streak right now. Now, he's got that M8. He's currently in the back part of the map, and he will be the anchor for Team Breakout. Yep, going to take in over that anchor role. And, you know, we, again, we were discussing this, Taylor. I'm going to keep referring to yesterday because we are playing the same map rotations as we were yesterday. And we were saying about how these hardpoint maps, it's difficult to get like a firm anchor down um, on this first hijacked hardpoint and also express hardpoint as well. But I'm just going to be staying on board with Ainsy because he's on a four kill streak. He's halfway to that first lightning strike. And I want to see what he's going to be able to do to try and move into this next hardpoint. It's currently contested. And this is the one that gets, you know, he's such a difficult one to hold down for a lot of time. Right. But Ordeal Nade actually is the guy going off. And look at what he's using, Taylor. He's on a three score stick <laughs> and he's using a chick com. I've never really seen that too much. You, you know, you know, you do not see people using a chick com at all, really. You know, I used to think that was the god of all weapons whenever I first started, but he seems to be using it quite well. And LXT, by the way, just went on a uh, three kill streak, and then Sam just went on a two kill streak. But look at this guy, Nade, still rocking that chick com. He's not shy at all whenever it comes to getting in those gunfights. He seems to spam out uh, the three bursts really well. So, hey, if it works for you, it works for you, you know? 
yeah, exactly. If it works for you, then you just got to go ahead with it and keep using it. But he seems to be doing all right. Let's pop up the scoreboard, actually, and see how everybody's doing. We've got Breakout LXT there, 13 and 10. Not too much going on. Wangy and Ainsley haven't got a defense yet at all. And then on the other side, everybody about, you know, the same margin. Not really too much going on so far. Not really any dramatic differences as we see 6 minutes 55 on the clock. 65 to 34 with Breakout taking a lead here so far. And we're actually on board with UT Sam as he picks up a 6 kill there. And he's also going to learn that health, earn that health or missile, sorry. And he's got that lightning strike. And that death machine. Now, the Death Machine I used to like quite a lot, but recently I've really not become so keen on. So it could be interesting to see how he uses that on such a close quarters map like this. You know, honestly, I like the War Machine a lot better now. And I used to like the Death Machine as well, but the War Machine, you can just spam it out a lot better and you can clear out those inside hard points. For example, where we're at right now, the Kitchen hard point, the War Machine definitely comes in handy whenever you're popping in there because you could just spam those corners and spam in the back and really take out your people. Oh. Alex, look at that. Sam gets a nice three piece. That's worthy of some stream time. He's got a hellstorm he's on a four kill streak right now and i think he just earned that hellstorm he's working his way up towards that lightning strike probably one kill away from that he is going to connect with somebody there somebody's going to run in front of him and he does in fact earn all of his score streaks so he is going to have that death machine let's see if he's going to be able to put that to good use yeah, he's got to put that to good use now. He's got to start carrying his team. He's actually the person who's top fragging for the team on 17 kills at the minute. And he's also got eight defends as well, which is the most important column overall, pretty much. And he's playing really well. You know, that three piece that he got was pretty insane. He put yeah, it was. There, got a nice grenade in. And there we go, guys. We are back onto the first hard point. 52 seconds left on this middle hard point. Let's see if uh, a toilet and a picture, I'm going to keep mucking up that name, I swear <laughs> down, are going to be able to bring some time back on this. But let's jump on board with something new. Let's give Rob some love because we've really seen him so far now. He's using more of a typical class setup, Taylor. He's got this MP7 out, and we see yeah. a lot of people using this gun recently, don't we? Yeah, you know, the MP7 is actually a really nice gun to use. I like it personally, especially since they banned the, or excuse me, they nerfed the MSMC quite a while ago. Now, I would rather use the MP7 than a Chikom, to be quite honest with you, but if the Chikom works for you, hey, it works for you, but the MP7 is just a great gun. But, you know, it's not really used at lands a lot, which I did notice. The Scorpion seems to dominate that kind of area. But anyways, Sam was just on a four kill streak. He is going to get taken out. Now, he has used his Hellstorm and Lightning Strike, and he only has the death machine or, or yeah the death machine left so we're gonna see if he's gonna be able to put that to good use now still it's still I, now I know you guys are gonna say it's not but it's still relatively a close game it is 120 to 52 now a toilet and a picture can make a comeback here with four minutes and 45 seconds still remaining it's definitely possible yeah, they're going to have to do something now as they did take the initial few seconds of this hard point. Nobody's actually in it at the minute. They've completely left it. They're behind on score. Looks like they were just clearing out the air and making sure they could get those spawns, but it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to. Having a look at that mini-map, seeing where everybody's spawning. We're going to jump on board with something new. Let's give uh, Ridney kills. I don't think we've seen Ridney kills yet so far. I know he just spawned up, but I want to see how he's going to be able to push this hard point as we do see Wongy picking up a two-piece there with his MSMC. Still mm. on board with Ridley kills. Uh, Ridney? Ridley, my bad. I do apologize about that. Starting to push in here. And they need to do something soon. As you said, Teddy, you know, there's only four minutes left on the clock, and anything can happen on a hard point. But we saw, you know, right. soon, if somebody takes a real dramatic lead, you know, at the start of this high jack hard point, it's very, very difficult for the other team to come back. You know, it's correct, especially when we're going to be transferring over down to the underground hard point. Now, Wongi's on a four kill streak. He's just an assist away from his Hellstorm, but not going to be able to earn it. Sam's going to shut him down, and that was a very important kill on their part. Now, Sam's currently on a two kill streak. We do see that we're going to be rotating to the underground position. Neither would which team is going to get a lot of points down here, as we know, since they extended the hard point out to the ladders. But Riley's not going to stop him. Boy, it is going to stop him. He's actually going to get taken out. But we're going to be out for with Matthews. Matthews gets taken out himself. And look at this. Breakout is, in fact, going to be able to take it. Now, let's get on board with Ainsley. Oh, Ainsley's taking some bullets from that death machine. That uh, Who has that? That's going to be Sam who has that. And he's actually just spamming right through that wall. Very smart play on his part. And that is going to stop Breakout from getting any more points on him. They're going to be able to successfully contest it, at least for a little bit. Yeah, you do not want to come across one of those death machines face to face. It's a good play by him to be able to stick him behind cover as you see him head glitching now. I was actually going to jump down to LXT who's on a five kill streak. I just want to see if he's going to be able to get any more streaks. And there we go. This cocky play that we were talking about earlier is working for him as he's got that line strike and that Hellstorm missile. No, sorry, and that war machine as well. Uh, he didn't, unfortunately, well, he wasn't able to pick up the AGR, but still great plays by him to be able to pick up some of those streaks. And they are in complete dominance right now. They've got about a uh, 96 point lead or something around that yeah. Mark, my math is absolutely terrible as we do see no, LXT getting broken out and yeah 2 minutes 40 on the clock I think this could just be out of the hands yeah you know of, uh, the time yeah. is dwindling mm. down right now Ainsley picks up a lightning strike able to get a nice 3 piece right there and then he's now currently on 8 kill streak working his way towards the dogs is he going to be able to earn it I hope he does that's going to be such an exciting thing to see but he does have his war machine spamming over there looking like he's trying to take out Matthews but can't connect he is going to have to reload though but guys in the chat is it 
going to be able to earn his dogs. He is going to get contested from the back. Now, this is a very uh, tricky situation now that he's got to get into. He does get a War Machine kill. He needs to start getting those MSMC kills as they, wor they are worth a lot more points. He is going to break out his M8. Is he going to be able to get another kill here? Putting some bullets over the No, he's not. He's currently on a nine kill streak. Man, I'm on board with this guy to earn him. Yeah, yeah, this is crazy play. You've got to go on these kind of streaks if you want to win games. I mean, like, yeah, you do see people who go off on games on an unreasonable amount. But, again, you've got to give it up to the rest of the team. Everybody on Breakout has played phenomenally. Ames is going off, and there we go. He does hit double figures on this score streak, playing absolutely out of his skin. Score currently 208 to 68. No! All of Breakout have been amazing. And, wow, this is just back and forth. Play play. Look at these scores. I'm bringing up the scoreboard again. Look at it. It's nuts. Yeah, I ain't see, man. He was on a 10 kill streak, but gets taken out of that hut, man. That makes me sad. But you know what? That's not going to stop his team breakout. 214 to 68. I think they're going to take it away. But yeah, we are looking at the overall scoreboard here. Wongi, 36 and 29. LXT, 35, 29. Robs, 31 and 22. But holy crap, I just seen this. Do you see LXT with 17 defense and Robs with 21 defense? That is insane. Oh, that's unreal. And then you look at the other side and Matthews and Ridley both only have one defense each. And this is the you know, this is the thing that I always look at. Have a look at how many kills. Thirty-three kills Robs has got and twenty-one defense. Over half of his kills, well, quite a proportion of his kills, have been in the hard point. And that is what you want from an objective player, especially on a map like Hijacks. You really cannot ask for much more. And breakout are looking incredibly strong here in this winner's bracket round two game. Forty seconds left on the clock. And it looks like a, yeah, 100 point club is real. You know, a Breakout is just a strong team overall, you know, like, especially online. You know, I've seen them play, and in the Payback Games tournament, that was uh, the $10,000 tournament, they actually took second place. They only got beat by Epsilon. They didn't drop a whole entire, they didn't drop a single map until he, uh, they played Epsilon, and then that's when they really things started going downhill. But Epsilon's such a great team, but Wongi's going to close it out for us, guys. Six kill streak. he is going to earn his lighting strike. He's going to just call that in, get some kills right there. He also has a Hellstorm as well, which he's going to call in in the last remaining five seconds seconds and they're going to max it out 250 to 86 and that's going to be breakout taking the first win leading this best of five series 2-1-0 against a toilet and a picture i was going to make some absolutely terrible joke about the toilet and a picture and how they obviously needed to go i don't even know what i'm trying to say right now i was going to make some terrible joke but then i thought everybody in the chat wouldn't really appreciate it but there you go wongy 45 to 31 and LXT going 40 to 32. This is absolutely unreal. That's probably yeah. some of the best stats I've actually seen on Hardpoint. I and mean, when we saw it yesterday, we saw you know one person drop 44 to 32, and then somebody else over on uh, it was Roughnecks actually dropping over a 50 bomb on this map. So this one's just absolutely crazy, Taylor. And a toilet and a picture definitely need to step up their game here in Search and Destroy because you know there's a dramatic difference between being one all in a series of best of five um, to being 2-0 down. So yeah, it doesn't look like Matthews is happy with the two bar. Maybe the connection could be having something to do with this. This is online Call of Duty, so unfortunately connection could come into play. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. 252, about 86 or somewhere about that margin, I think, mm. was the final score. Um, and that's going to be it. First round to breakout. Yeah, first round goes to breakout, you know, by really a commanding lead, about 150 points. They did an excellent job with holding it down. Actually, close to 200. Uh